Techno Update. Subscribe now. HP Elite X3 Review Design and Build First things first. This phone is huge, and that's no exaggeration. It has a 5.96 in screen but the reasonably iPhone S quiet bezels mean that it is a very big phone in the hand. It is a full centimeter taller than the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge, which has 5.5 in screen. The Elite X3 is just about manageable in our small hands, but this is not a phone for one-handed operation however big your paws are. On the right edge there are the usual power, wake and volume buttons, a USB-C port on the bottom edge, incredibly fiddly dual SIM slot on the left edge and a 3.5mm headphone jack on the top. The neat rear of the phone has HP's slick new logo, the camera bump with LED flash and a circular fingerprint scanner just below. HP has managed to keep the thickness down at just 7.8mm though and the weight is surprisingly under 200 grams which is good. This is still a hefty device though, measuring 161.8 by 83.5 by 7.8mm. Features and Specs the Near 6 in display is capable of stunning reproductions given its Quad HD resolution of 2560 by 1440, and touch input is fast and responsive. 4 GB RAM is more than enough for using the X3 as a smartphone, more on the performance with the laptop and continuum later. There's a 16 inch rear facing camera with autofocus capable of video at 1080p at 30fps, while the 8MP front facing camera is more than adequate for video calling. The dual front facing speakers are very loud and good for those calls and for conference voice calls, but for music and video we found them quite tinny, a shame when the handset is stamped with the B&O branding. Software. Windows phones have always been derided for being substandard compared to iPhones and high-end Android devices but this is unfair. Flagship Windows devices have always been able to hold a candle to their high-end rivals, but it is true that the Windows Store has fewer apps than the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. However, that so-called app gap is overplayed. We use the HP Elite X3 as our main phone and had Facebook. Twitter, Spotify, WhatsApp, eBay, BBC iPlayer, Netflix and banking apps up and running in no time. There's a Slack app for work and of course unrivaled compatibility with Microsoft Office. Sure, you'll have the occasional touch when you can't get the latest game or trending photo app everyone is talking about, but there is no way we can say that Windows 10 for mobile is a totally compromised app platform. Also apps such as Sonos or Home Entertainment will simply never come to Windows phones. If your personal and work lives revolve around Google services, Windows 10 on mobile is a bit of a tough ask. Then again, if you're coming at cloud services fresh, then putting your eggs into the Microsoft basket will work very well, particularly if you're already a PC user, as opposed to Mac.